Today, we're gonna to be doing something completely different. We're gonna dive straight into a specific effect in Premiere Pro, like we did in all the other videos. Let's get at it. My name is Suspect, and in today's installment of our Premiere Pro Master Series, we're gonna be talking about levels. To get levels onto your clip, you go under effects, adjustments, and throw levels right onto it. Once you have levels on your clip, you get about 16 different number boxes that you can change, varying from starting out at zero, starting out at 255, or starting out at 100. Once you have the effect on your clip, it actually is broken up into a way that makes a lot of sense. So it starts out with the RGB cluster, red, green, blue, then it's broken up individually to red, green, and blue. In each cluster, it allows you to change the black output, the white output, the black input, the white input, and the gamma. Let's break down the difference between input and output. Input, you're setting the blackest point and the whitest point along with the midpoint, which is the grayest point. Output, on the other hand, is you basically telling Premiere Pro what the final image is allowed to look like. Let's dive a little bit deeper into what this actually means. Input, you're essentially setting the whitest and blackest points of your image. So for example, if I were to take the blackest point and drop it up to 20, and take the whitest point and drop it down to 235, you can see the image is essentially squished. Output is essentially stretching what you set for your inputs to create these new blackest point and whitest point, and then allowing you to refine your whites and refine your blacks. Now, the last option you have in all these panels is gamma, which is essentially setting the exposure for these colors. All of these things we've spoken about so far transfer over to each panel. So for your red panel, your blue panel, and your green panel, it's basically setting the same parameters. Similar to the effect we did last week, Extract, if you open up your effects panel, you can go across from where it says Levels and open up a little chart that gives you a histogram. This new window is the same exact thing as your effects panel, except you have a histogram to visually help you, you have an image to visually help you, and you have sliders to smooth it over easier. Now, you might be wondering why you wouldn't just go into Lumetri Scopes and use everything in there instead of messing with this weird effect. And you probably should just go into Lumetri Scopes and mess with everything there and just ignore this effect. But one little use I've seen so far is that if you turn the gamma up all the way for RGB, all of the colors at once, you get an almost overexposed washed out photo, but it's not completely washed out. You still have a little bit of image and it kind of gives a cool effect if you want to keyframe that down from there. Another cool little thing I found when messing around with this is if you go into your RGB panel and you change your black output all the way up and your white output all the way down, you get kind of a cool negative effect, which is also exactly the same thing as if you went into your effects panel and search negative and put that on there. We wanted to try to actually utilize this effect and see what we can do with it. So what we did is we took a clip where we have a defined horizon. So we have the sky on the top half and grass on the bottom half. We drew a mask inside of this effect and then we affected the green output input and kind of gave it a more saturated look over the green now this is kind of cool using it like this because if we're not cutting out the drone that's in the middle you get the reflectiveness of the green on the drone so it kind of sells the idea behind this effect a little more rather than cutting it out and you still see the lighter green reflecting on it So that about sums up everything you can do in this effect. It's really an outdated version of Lumetri Color. I would recommend personally just stick in Lumetri Color, but it's kind of cool to understand what's actually happening behind the sliders and behind the scenes of everything. As always, thank you guys for the continued support. It really means a lot to us. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you don't like the channel, please never visit us again.